Hey, what's up, everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at General Hera Syndulla from the Ahsoka television show. So I really liked Hera in Rebels, and I think Mary Elizabeth Winstead did a great job of bringing an animated character to life in the series, and I think the figure looks great. And of course, this comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top, through the window. You can see Hera comes with her blaster. Kind of looks like a Blurg 1120 with a trigger guard. That's kind of cool. Then we have Star Wars Ahsoka and General Hera Syndulla. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around, and there's the side with the artwork. It's a pretty nice picture. I'm not sure what all this in the background is, but I do love the picture and the color for the Ahsoka line is very nice. On the top, you have a small window and on the bottom, barcode, some mouse print and some logos. And there's the back of the box. Same picture as the side. You have a rundown of the show in five different languages. Hera is number six in the Ahsoka line and you have some more mouse print down there. All right, I'm going to get Hera open and let's take a look at her. Okay, so here is Hera out of the box and I cannot get over how good this figure looks. I mean, I am generally impressed. Let's take a close look. We'll start up top at the face, and I am loving this. I mean, they pretty much captured the look of the live-action version of Hera in this figure. I mean, <laughs> everything about it just looks really good. I mean, the eyes are nice. The eyes are green. The nose, the mouth, the skin tone looks great. Yeah, this is nice up here. This little thing on her head looks good. The goggles up here. So these things can move, but you can't put them on her head. Okay, they do have a little bit of movement there, but you can't bring them down, but that's fine. Uh, but it's cool how they kind of reflect the light. I love that, some silver there, little touch of silver around there. I mean, great detail on this thing. And then her Leku back here just looks so good. All this, all this detail in there is just well done. It's very subtle, but it's there. Yeah, I love that. So from the neck up, this is a huge A+. Plus. And from the neck down, we have this outfit from the Ahsoka series. And this jacket is just wonderful. The little fuzzy bit around the collar up here looks very good. You got the general rank. Now, <laughs> some people are saying, hey, she's got the Purina logo on her jacket. It's, it's close. It, it's very close. But as you see, these are circles. The Purina logo's squares. <laughs> but it is close. But yeah, that's her general rank. On this shoulder, she's got the Phoenix Squadron symbol. I'm not sure what this one is. You know, just some orange thing. I don't know. But on the back, you have this symbol. And I love this. And I'm not sure if this is some Twi'lek thing. It's on the Ghost as well. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, it is super clean. But I'm not 100% sure what this is. But I do love it. But the detail on this jacket is just slick. All the wrinkles look good, all this fine detail in there, down here, the sleeves. I mean, everything about this is really nice. And the shirt underneath looks like that. You know, it's just brown, but you have some really nice detail in there. The collar looks good. Pants are just, they're orange. They're very orange, but you have some nice detail. Once again, the pocket, all this. Her butt looks fantastic. Love this in here. Yeah, the pants are cool. And the belt's very nice. Big silver buckle. They actually painted some of the studs. Okay, holster comes down. This is cool. And the back is not painted, but that's okay. It's in the back. Yeah, cool holster. And these black boots are really cool. Nice detail in there. Got a little thing going on there. Got some fine detail around here, though, you know, down here on the sole. Yeah, cool boots from head to toe. It is a nice looking figure. And let's look at articulation real quick. So she has some very good side to side at the head. Now the Leku do kind of get in the way, but it's no big deal. She's got some very good down, not much up because of this. And she has some very, very good tilt. So she is very mobile in the head. As far as arms up, they can get up to about right there. And they can, of course, rotate around. Now for elbows, yeah, they both get past 90. And I love that. That is great. She has a swivel at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist, and she has an up and down hinge on both hands, and she has trigger fingers on both, which is kind of cool. You know, there is a slight trigger finger on the left hand. I do like that, but yeah, very nice up and down hinges on both hands. She's got some swivel right where the pants are. Okay, some swivel, not a whole lot of crunch, some back, and some decent side to side tilt. And I almost forgot, let's jump back up to arms for a second. She has some very, very good butterfly joints in there. If you move the jacket out of the way, you can see how deep they're cut. That's nice. All right, now moving on to legs. And for legs, they can get all the way up to there and they can go out all the way because they're on this new dumbbell system and the holster will just ride along the thigh so they can get all the way out to there. 
As far as hips, okay, being on that ball, they can swivel up there. They don't go back, well, they do actually go back a little bit for knees. They get up that far. There's a swivel at the knee and the feet go down a little bit. They go up a little bit and there is some swivel at the ankle. And real quick, I thought I would compare her to the Rebels version of herself and they're about the same size. So yeah, I like this. And moving on to accessories. So here's the blaster that comes with General Hera and this is just cool. I love the paint, the gold, the kind of a slightly lighter gold there. Just the overall sculpt. It's just very, very nice on this blaster. And it is a blurg, okay? You can tell it's a blurg if I compare it to the blaster that came with the Rebels Hera, okay? It's close, you know, this is a blurg. And this, you know, they just added a trigger guard to this one. I thought it was gonna be the same sculpt, but it is not, it is totally different. But this one here, that is a cool blaster right there. And this fits in her hand very well, okay? Just drops in, the finger's sitting right on the trigger right through the trigger guard. That looks fantastic. And if you just want her just firing out front like that, yeah, that looks good. And there she is with the arm fully extended with the feet a little farther apart. And that's a nice pose. And she can fire low from the hip like this. And you can have her drawing her weapon. I like the look of that. And real quick, just because she has a trigger finger on the left, let's see how that looks. Okay, that is not bad. Not bad at all. It's not as good as it is in the right, but it looks fine. Yeah, that looks, yeah, that's nice. All right, so we know she poses pretty well with this weapon. Let's see how this holster works. So that drops in very well. The strap will go over the grip and peg in there. Oh, that's nice. I like it, that looks good there. But I will most likely keep her like this. So let's go stick her on the shelf and let's see what she looks like there. And here we are and yeah, she looks nice. And you can see how she scales with Sabine and Morgan and Ezra. Chopper looks good. Yeah, so so I'm, I'm extremely happy with this figure. And just so you guys know, I preemptively put a little thing back there to bump Balin up whenever I get him, all right? Just to make him a little taller. But yeah, I think Hera looks fantastic. So bottom line, it's a great looking figure. I mean, the face alone is fantastic. I mean, they really did a good job on this. I love this. The jacket is just cool. I love the jacket. Even, I mean, all this detail. It's just well done. Pants are cool. I like the holster. The blaster is really neat. I love this. I mean, right down to the feet. It is a great looking figure. Super happy to have it. But just like always, I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of General Harrison Dula from the Ahsoka television show. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.